Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with That Homeschool Life. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three tips and tricks that I use to help maintain an efficient home. Basically, it's three hacks that I try to make sure I do every single day to help my house not get out of control in the busyness of homeschooling and motherhood and toddlers and kids and chaos. Right, so I just wanted to start this video out by saying it's a collaboration hosted by Wendy over at Plan Prep Pay, over at Plan, <laughs> over at Plan Prep Pray. And not only do I want you to check out her video in the playlist, but make sure you watch her video till the end because she launched an amazing course for you guys yesterday so she has a whole course that you can purchase and watch and it's all about being a better stay-at-home mom and using your time wisely and she just teaches you how to do all the things so another little disclaimer is just that um i just got out of the shower my hair is wet i'm in my pjs i have no makeup on and i was like you know what i really wanted to get this video up and i forgot about it I've been really busy with stuff at home and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it so if you're wondering why I look like a hippie that's why also make sure you check the playlist down below every video on the playlist today has different three different hacks no two videos are gonna be the same so my first stay-at-home mama hack is to do one load of laundry every single day no matter what um obviously there are days where i do more than one load or like days where i'm washing sheets or towels but i still do a load of clothes every single day no matter what so most days i'm just doing one load a day um that allows me to never get backed up on laundry it allows the bedrooms to not be filled with dirty clothes everywhere or full hampers and kids don't have anything to wear um, or you're trying to leave and they're like I don't have any underwear or whatever I have five kids and the laundry gets crazy really fast and so what I started doing was one load a day and it's just everyone's clothes mixed together so I used to wait until so-and-so had a full load and then I'd do their load and then when I had a full load, I'd do mine and I found that didn't work well for us. So now I just gather everybody's laundry together and I do one mixed load a day. I put in the load before I start school and then during school, I switch it to the dryer and then after school, I take it out of the dryer and sort it out. So I sort it into piles I make my girls a pile, Kate a pile, and mine and my husband's pile. My girls take their big pile to their room and they sort theirs out between the three of them and put them all away. Cade puts his all away and I put mine and my husband's away. So that is just one way to keep things under control here because laundry can get out of control fast. Okay, so my second tip, this one I am guilty of not doing every once in a while, like <clears throat> tonight, yeah. <clears throat> um, but it is never going to bed with dirty dishes. Sometimes I'll even do dishes at like midnight, and I, and I might do that tonight. Um, but right now I'm feeling like I'm probably gonna wait till the morning to do them. <laughs> There's not that many, and they're not that bad, so. Um, but, I used to let the dishes pile up and pile up and they would overwhelm me and then I would like avoid going into the kitchen the whole day the next day because I was overwhelmed by the dishes. Um, but I started doing dishes no matter what every single night and I love waking up to a clean kitchen. I love waking up and not having to be like, oh I want to make a smoothie but oh man the smoothie cups are dirty or whatever like I don't like reaching into a sink of dirty dishes in the morning to wash something that I want to use like I used to wake up all the time and my favorite coffee mug was dirty in the sink buried and I and I hated that like I hated that so much um and it was like a trigger 
for stress and anxiety for me. So now I, no matter what, I try to do the dishes every single night, even if it's late, and waking up the next morning is just that much more peaceful, efficient, productive as well because no one has to like wash a dish to make something, you know, it's just, it's already done. Everything's clean. All right, my third hack for keeping my house under control um, is that my kids clean up their own messes multiple times a day. When my kids are having fun and they're playing and the house is being lived in, it doesn't bother me anymore. But when I realize that they are done with what made the mess and they've moved on to something else, I will corral them back in and show them the mess they left and have them clean it all up and then they can go back to what they were doing now. Um, and then also like my husband and I have been really trying to train them to not even eat until they have cleaned up whatever mess they made in the kitchen. Um, cause like they would make a sandwich and we'd go in there and the peanut butter and jelly are out and there's jelly all over the counter and the bread is left open. And so we've made it a rule. You don't eat your food until you clean up the mess that you made making your food. Um, so that's another thing is just having my kids clean up their own messes. Like I don't clean up after them anymore. Hardly ever. Like seriously, hardly ever. And it is so nice. I am less angry when I'm cleaning. Um, it's more peaceful because they clean up all their own stuff first and then I'll go and like clean the house, which is like the finishing touches to cleaning. Um, I have them sweep multiple times a day. They love to vacuum the rug in here. Um, my son loves to make the couch, so they are constantly taking the couch cushions off and the pillows and making forts and tents and everything like that. And he loves to fold the blankets and put them away, put the cushions back on. He sets the pillows nicely and he likes to drape blankets in certain spots on the couch. And he's always so proud of the way they look when he's done and it's really cute and sweet. So yeah, that is my third tip trick hack, whatever you want to call it. All right. So yeah, I guess that's it. And don't forget to check the playlist. Don't forget to check Wendy's video and watch to the end to find out about her course that she is offering. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I guess I'm going to close out the video. <laughs> All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and comment down below what things do you try to do every day to keep your house under control um, as a stay-at-home mom or homeschooling mom or whatever. Um, even if you don't homeschool and you just stay home with your kids, what things do you do to keep it under control. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you stick around. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.